to see the dependence of entropy on temperature and volume for ideal gas let us write the formula of uh, dependence of entropy on temperature and volume first that is ds is equal to uh, cv by t into tt plus del p by del t into v into dv so this is the mathematical expression that gives us the information about the dependence of entropy on temperature and volume that we have already derived this formula now let's see for ideal gas so for ideal gas for ideal gas the ideal gas equation can be applied pv is equal to nrt right let us consider this to be equation number one now let's find the value of p over here so it will be nrt by v right so p is equal to nrt by v now let's find this value for this we need to uh, differentiate this p with respect to t at constant volume v so differentiating differentiating with respect to temperature at constant volume then how much will we get that is del p by del t at constant volume v if we are uh, differentiating at constant volume v then this much quantity will behave as constant and r by v and if we differentiate t then obviously del t by del t will be one so we don't have to write that equation number two right now we need to apply this value in equation number one then then equation one becomes then equation one becomes we can write ds is equal to cv by t cv by t into dt plus in this value we can write in this place we can write an r by v into dv right this is equation number three here in this question this if cv is for one mole so for n mole for n mole of gases we can write n over here and cv so it will be ds is equal to n cv by t into dt plus n r by v into dv now we need to integrate this equation integrating integrating under respective limits integrating under respective limits we do that we'll get a form like this from s1 to s2 ds plus this whole value that is uh, is equal to and cv will behave as constant and it will be t1 to t2 dt by t plus n r v1 to v2 dv by v then we know that this is s2 minus s1 right and cv and it will be ln T2 minus ln T1 because the integration of dt by t is ln t and if we uh, put this t1 t2 over there then this, this will be ln t2 minus ln t1 the same thing will be over here and r ln v2 minus ln v1 this is a simple uh, mathematical formula we can write del s over here del s is equal to n cv ln ln t2 minus ln t1 means ln t2 by t1 plus n r ln v2 by v1 so this is the formula for ideal gas similarly this formula can further be written as if we want to write log over here then we need to multiply by 2.303 and cv log t2 by t1 plus n r sorry here also we need to do the same thing 2.303 and r log v2 by v1 so these are the two formulas that shows the dependence of entropy with temperature and volume for ideal gas these two formulas are used in numerical problems as well it will be easier for us to understand the derivation with the help of this numerical problem i have already written the question over here Calculate the entropy change suffered by two moles of an ideal gas being heated from a volume of 100 liters at 50 degrees Celsius 
to 150 liters at 150 degrees Celsius and the given value is CV is equal to 7.88 calorie per mole per Kelvin. So first of all, we need to write the given data. So given N is equal to 2 that is 2 moles is given over there. The initial volume is 100 liters. The final volume is 150 liters right the initial temperature is 50 degree celsius the final temperature is 150 degree celsius here we need to uh, change this degree celsius to kelvin for that we need to add 273 273 to each of them plus 50 plus 150 then how much will we get we'll get uh, 323 kelvin and 423 kelvin and CV is given over here that is 7.88 calorie per mole per Kelvin. So for calorie unit, the value of R will be 1.987 uh, calorie per mole per Kelvin. Calorie per mole per Kelvin. So these are the given data and we need to find the value of the change in entropy. So DS, therefore DS will be equal to, there is a formula. What is the formula? Uh, N C V L N T two by T one plus N R L N V two by V one. This is the formula for ideal gas, right? Let's put the values over here. In place of N, we need to write two. Into in place of C V, we need to write seven point eight eight L N T two means how much? Four hundred twenty three divided by three hundred twenty three plus 2 into 1.987 ln v2 means how much 150 by v1 means 50 so we got this much if we put these values in calculator then this first value will uh, give us 4.25 plus then second values give us 1.66 and if we add them we'll get 5.86 calorie per mole per kelvin so this is the value of the change in entropy for this particular question. Here we can see that we have applied the formula of dependence of entropy on temperature and volume for ideal gas that we just derived earlier, right? So this is how a numerical problem is asked and this is how you solve the question. I hope you understood everything about this video. In this video, we understood the derivation of dependence of entropy on temperature and volume. Similarly, we uh, derived the formula for the dependence of entropy on temperature and volume for ideal gas as well as we did a numerical problem. That's all in this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.